I'm reading. <laughs> Good evening. I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to our council meetings. You see we have the official Charles Swan starter kit on. <laughs> I will actually lead us in our prayer. Right from our prayer, we'll go right into the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. President, before you pray, I do ask that all of you continue to keep our fire department uh, in their prayers. Um, Sherry Moffitt passed away last week, I think it was, so certainly want to keep them in, our, in their thoughts and uh, prayers. Thank you. I know y'all have noticed there's a little difference in tonight's meeting than usual. Um, tonight we are here to recognize and to honor Charles Swan, who has retired as of December the 31st after nearly 31 years of service to this city. The city that we call home and that we love as much, much as he does. I've known Charles and Kathy for a long, long time. And eight years I had an opportunity to work with Charles in, when I was on the council. And I was amazed at how much Charles knew about this city. He knew more about water lines and sewer lines and pumping stations and plants and paving and streets than I ever even thought about. Uh, and I learned a whole lot. I have seen Charles deal with the public when people would come in and mad his old red hen, chomping at the bit, telling him what he was going to do and what they were going to do. And so forth, and within a very few minutes, he had them calm down, and he was working with them. I never heard him tell them no. I always heard him say, we'll work it out, and when they left, they were as happy as they could be because he had worked with them in a calm way and made that project of whatever they were angry about, uh, making them believe that the end result was exactly what they wanted. 
he knows the history of this town. He could tell you anything about anybody and everything. He knew where we came from and where we are going. Charles wore many hats as being uh, an employee of the city for over 30 years. And he set the bar very high for the rest of us to follow. Charles, on behalf of this mayor and council, our present employees, our former mayor and councils who have worked with you and our former employees have, who have worked with you, we appreciate all the things that you have done, your dedication, your concern, your love for this city, always going way beyond the call of duty, your integrity, all the things that you have done, all of the adjectives, I could just list on and on and on. Uh, we appreciate those things that you have done for this city. At the end of the day, as time has, the sun has set and you are leaving us to open a new door of your life, I just want to say on behalf of all of us, a great big thank you, Charles Swan, for what you have done and the commitment you've made to this city. We do appreciate that. him yesterday at church <laughs> to get him here. <laughs> I lie in church. May God forgive me. But I had to make him get here tonight. Well, otherwise he would not have been here. Whereas on June 2nd, 1986, Mr. Charles P. Swan began his distinguished career with the city of Northport. And whereas throughout his career, Mr. Swan has served as the city engineer, public works director, and city administrator. And whereas Mr. Swan has diligently served with loyalty, integrity, and concern for the citizens of Northport for over 30 years, which has earned him their respect, and whereas Mr. Swan has provided sound, effective leadership for the city of Northport and demonstrated a strong obligation to his profession and the professional development of those around him, and whereas Mr. Swan's deep family heritage to Northport has led to his love and passion for the city of Northport, which is visible in his day-to-day -day commitment to our city. And whereas, Ms. although Mr. Swan officially retired on De December the 31st, 2016, he has graciously continued to assist the city of Northport on a part-time basis until a permanent city administrator could be hired. And whereas we would like to thank Mr. Swan for his countless contributions, dedication, and commitment to the city of Northport throughout his career, and wish him well in his future endeavors and retirement. Now, therefore, I, Donna Aaron, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Northport, Alabama, do hereby complain, uh, proclaim March the 6th, 2017, to be Charles P. Swan Day in the city of Northport. Mr. Swan's contributions to the city and his wit and wisdom will not be forgotten. The city of Northport is a better place because of his service, and we are grateful for having had the pleasure and privilege of knowing him. And I also have one more. We have a plaque that is presented to Charles P. Swan, city administrator slash, en slash engineer with sincere appreciation and gratitude for 30 years of service with the city of Northport. I'm out of uniform. <laughs> uh, as I'll quote Floyd Gay. As good as uh, I may have been to this city, this city's been a lot better to me. And uh, I've enjoyed my time with it and, uh, um, and all the people that I've worked for, both the elected officials and the 
and the staff. And it's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you. After the meeting, we will have a little reception in the Civic Center, so you all are certainly invited to attend, just so long as Mr. Swan doesn't leave us. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Mr. Rose, call roll, please. Councilman Hambright. Here. President Logan. Here. Councilman Sullivan. Here. Councilman Davis. Here. Councilman Hodge. Here. We have a quorum, Mr. President. Thank you. Item five is approval of the agenda, ladies and gentlemen. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda as printed. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Hambright. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. President Logan. Yes. Councilman Hambright. Yes. Councilman Sullivan. Yes. Councilman Davis. Yes. Councilman Hodge. Yes. Motion carries. Item 7A1 is a second reading of a permanent resolution accepting municipal improvements in Glencrest. Mr. Webb. Um, the Glencrest neighborhood has been completed. The final plat has been accepted by, um, been accepted and signed. They have the bonding in place for the uh, final layer of asphalt and all the maintenance funds in place for all the other infrastructure. Before you tonight, we have um, a resolution accepting the municipal improvements for the infrastructure in Glencrest neighborhood. All right, thank you, John. I is this actually with the exception of the final layer? Is that right? That's correct. All right, thank you. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution accepting maintenance for municipal public improvements except for the final layer of asphalt for Glencrest subdivision phase one? I'll make that motion. That's a motion by Councilman Davis. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Hogg. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Davis. Yes. Councilman Hogg. Yes. Councilman Hambright. Yes. President Logan. Yes. Councilman Sullivan. Same. Thank you. Second item is a second reading of a permanent resolution accepting municipal improvements in Forest Glen, phase 11. Mr. Webb. Yes, Council. But, um, all items in this neighborhood have been installed, all the infrastructure. There is nothing for the performance to be bonded on this. We have the maintenance bonds in place, accepted by attorney, and this item is ready for acceptance. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve that resolution? Move to approve. That's a motion by Councilman Sullivan. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Hawk. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Sullivan. Yes. Councilman Hogg. Yes. Councilman Hambright. Yes. President Logan. Yes. Councilman Davis. Yes. Motion carries, Mr. President. Third item is a second reading of an ordinance annexing three parcels of land located at Shady Hill Road and Millwood Drive. Mr. Stevens. Yes, sir. This is the second reading uh, uh, accepting the annexation of three parcels at Shady Hill and Watermelon Road for Miss Annie Archibald. Uh, they needed water service for a mobile home. Uh, and just for reference, you'll see the same location on the March 20th agenda for the rezoning. It did receive an affirmative recommendation from the Planning Commission. All right. Thank you. Is there a motion to grant that annexation of three parcels located at Shady Hill Road and Millwood Drive, approximately 0.5 acres? Moved to approve. Thank you. That's a motion by Councilman Sullivan. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Hambright. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Sullivan. Yes. Councilman Hambright. Yes. President Logan. Yes. Councilman Davis. Yes. Councilman Hogg. Yes. Motion carries, Mr. President. Thank you. Item 8A1 under new business is a first reading of a permanent resolution accepting maintenance and municipal improvements for Union Station. Mr. Webb. Yes, Councilman. Um, all items this on Union Station have been installed. This is a small uh, commercial subdivision just off Union Chapel Road, a little bit east of Highway 69. Um, Everything's been pro has been approved, and we have maintenance bonds for the infrastructure. Thank you. Someone would like to offer that for a first reading? I'll offer that for a first reading. Mr. Thank Brown. you. Offered up by Councilman Sullivan. Second item is a first reading of an ordinance amending the Northport City Code pertaining to panhandling. Mr. Davis.
All right, so really this is just, this explains the intent regarding panhandling, which we already have on the city, city ordinances. Thank you. Is there a motion to, well, actually, it actually has to suspend the rules, Ron, is that right? All right. Is there a motion to suspend the rules in order to immediately consider amending our city code regarding panhandling? I'll make that motion. That's a motion by Councilman Hogg, second by Councilman Hambright. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Hogg? Yes. Councilman Hambright? Yes. President Logan? Yes. Councilman Selwyn? Yes. Councilman Davis? Yes. Uh, rules have been suspended, Mr. Thank you. Under suspension of rules, is there a motion to approve the ordinance pertaining to aggressive panhandling within the city of Northport? I'll make that motion. That's a motion by Councilman Davis. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Hambright. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Davis? Yes. Councilman Hambright? Yes. President Logan? Yes. Councilman Hogg? Yes. Councilman Sullivan? Yes. Motion carries, Mr. President. Thank you. Third item is a first reading of an ordinance amending the Newport City Code pertaining to loitering, Mr. Davis. All right, thank you, Ron. Is there a motion to approve or suspend the rules in order to immediately consider amending the city code pertaining to loitering within the city of Northport? Make a motion to suspend the rules. Thank you, that's a motion by Councilman Hogg. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Hambright. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Hogg. Yes. Councilman Hambright. Yes. President Logan. Yes. Councilman Sullivan. Yes. Councilman Davis. Yes. Present the rules have been suspended. Thank you. Under suspension of rules, is there a motion to approve that ordinance pertaining, excuse me, pertaining to loitering within the city of Northport? I'll make that motion, Mr. President. That's a motion by Councilman Hambright. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Davis. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Hambright? Yes. Councilman Davis? Yes. President Logan? Yes. Councilman Sullivan? Yes. Councilman Hogg? Yes. Mr. President. Thank you. Items of a resolutions of a temporary nature. Item one is a resolution awarding bid file 17-01 furnishing grounds maintenance for Williamson Cemetery. Ms. Starnes. Yes, Mr. President. The Public Works Department received bids for grounds maintenance at Williamson Cemetery. The lowest bidder was Meg's Lawn Care at 15000 per year, and this is going to be a three-year contract with a total impact of 45000 Thank you, Ms. Starnes. Is there a motion to approve that resolution awarding the bid for furnishing of ground maintenance for Williamson Cemetery, bid file 17-01 to Meg's Lawn Care and authorize the city administrator's office to execute any agreement or the agreements with Meg's Lawn Care? Motion to approve. That's a motion by Councilman Hogg. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Davis. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Hogg? Yes. Councilman Davis? Yes. President Logan? Yes. Councilman Sullivan? Yes. Councilman Hambright? Yes. Motion carries, Mr. President. Thank you. Item two is a resolution accepting a $25,000 grant from the Alabama Homeland Security Grant Program. Chief Burton. Thank you, Chief. Is there a motion to approve that resolution authorizing our Newport Police Department to accept the $25,000 Homeland Security Grant? So approved. That's a motion by Councilman Hogg. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Sullivan. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Hogg? Yes. Councilman Sullivan? Yes. Councilman Davis? Yes. President Logan? Yes. Councilman Hambright? Yes. Motion carries, Mr. President. Thank you. Item three is a resolution accepting the change order number one for the water treatment building improvements. Uh, I know this was under uh, Mr. Ingram's watch before he uh, left. And again, I think this is basically for a change order regarding the treatment and the building plan improvements. And I see uh, Daryl with McGifford back there. Daryl, I didn't know if you were kind of helping some of that change order on that one, but we see James here. Thank you, James. No problem. Uh, last year, Mr. President, we approved the uh, some upgrades to the building at the water treatment plant. 
and in during the improvement it was discovered there were some items that were not covered in that improvement that need to be made this change over order is less than 10 percent of the overall bid thank you james is there a motion to approve the resolution for change order number one for the water treatment plant building improvements in the additional amount of eight thousand nine hundred thirteen dollars and fifty five cents and to authorize our city administrator's office to execute the necessary documents and requisitions needed to proceed with the project I'll make that motion. That's a motion by Councilman Davis. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Hambright. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Davis. Yes. Councilman Hambright. Yes. President Logan. Yes. Councilman Sullivan. Yes. Councilman Hogg. Yes. Motion carries, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, consent agenda, it has 19 items, ladies and gentlemen. They range from minutes of the previous meeting, bill listings, travel and training for our various employees out of our departments, PO requisitions, of course, 84 lumber, subscription license uh, for Viperline Solutions, of course, and the hardware application and training for Viperline and three-year subscription to our firewall equipment, again, through IT, and PO requisitions for corrosion inhibitors for our water treatment plant. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda as printed? I'll make that in the form of a motion. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Davis. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. President Logan. Yes. Councilman Davis. Yes. Councilman Hambright. Yes. Councilman Sullivan. Yes. Councilman Hogg. Yes. Motion carries, Mr. President. Thank you. Item nine is reports of special committees to council. Uh, I'll open the floor for members of mayor, mayor's office and council's office to give us an update if there is one. Just one out of the finance committee. Oh, I got my little helper here with me tonight. Um, just real quick, let everybody know. I don't know where Charles went, um, but okay, can't see anybody. Uh, the 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 budget is now complete. Um, all the council members have a copy of it. Our plan moving forward is to meet tomorrow night at 6 p.m. in our council council conference room. Uh, we will go through it in detail, uh, answer any questions any council members have at the time. Uh, staff will be available as well. Uh, from there, we've also planned to call a special call meeting Thursday at noon. Um, and the only item that I know at this time will be on there will be the budget. So that's the plan out of the finance committee moving forward. Um, that's all. Thank you. Any other members of council or mayor's office? We just got a projects committee meeting uh, 9 o'clock next Monday morning. Thank you. Item 10 is public hearings. We have none on the agenda. Item 11, city administrator's business. Mr. Rose. I have none. Mr. President, I just want to thank Charles for his, for his service. I'm just echoing what everybody else up here has said, but I, I, I truly do appreciate Charles. Charles is one of these people that uh, has always had Northport at his heart, and you knew that if Charles made a decision, it was for the betterment of Northport, and Thunder, but I just want to personally thank you, Mr. Swan. Item 12, Department of Business. I see we have none on the agenda. Item 13 is public comment. We have two citizens signed to speak. Uh, first one is Mr. David Kemp. Mr. Kemp, thank you so much for coming. Please state your name and address for the record. Currently, it's listed as 25 miles per hour, uh, 24 hours a day. It's a four-lane road. Uh, I'd like the council to take a look at it, ask the engineers to take a look at it to see if during the non-school times 
uh, it could possibly be raised to no more than 35 miles per hour, which would match the rest of it. Uh, just something I'd like for y'all to take a look at. That's any any money Al Dot got to help us with that? <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. We get, we get we it. We go back a long way. <laughs> just, uh, you can't ever tell. <laughs> can't ever. But thank you for your consideration in this matter. If you got any questions or anything for me? That's thank it. You. We'll we'll get our engineer staff to look at it. All right. Thank you. Thank you, David. Next citizen, Miss Madison. Thank you, Miss Madison, for coming. Northwood Lake Drive West. I'm actually here for Lederick Steele, the truck driver. He got called off. And I wanted to follow up with the council and see if we can get some a meeting together or something about that uh, program for the children this summer. It's March. They'll be getting out of school in May. So we're trying to see if there's any, any funds or anything to help with the employment of some of our children here in Northport. So if we can schedule something, I'll be working with Mr. Steele to see if we can get that program back started in Northport. What what I did, Ms. Madison, and this is still my own, I just pulled information what other cities have done in, in like a work program. Mm -hmm. uh, most cities either use it through funds directly from the city coffers or either look at some grant opportunities. I would like to sit down and meet with, I know Mr. Steele's probably on the road, but there was I'm a time. Tell, tell us a time when you can sit down and let's throw ideas I'm at your disposal. You just tell us a time. What's better for you, during the week, weekend? Uh, during the week. Anytime after 4. I'm Anytime available. after 4, I'm, I'm more available. And I, I know members of council will just kind of meet and just discuss the idea about it. Because there is some cost on, involved. Uh, spring break next week, so how is your schedule for next week? I'm good after 4 o'clock. So what you want to do, Monday, Tuesday? Uh, I would mayor council. I didn't know if you guys were available. I am available Monday through whatever. Anytime after four, I'm. I'm, I'm you want to do Monday? We can. We can do Monday. Here, at four. We can do Monday here at. Let's make it let's five o'clock. Okay. Let's make it five o'clock. That'll work. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Item 14 is mayor and council members business. I'll start with uh, Councilman Hambright, District 1. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I don't really have any about my district, but I do want to thank Charles Long for everything he's taught me and putting up with me going into the office. Most of the time he tells me to come in, even when I'm not, but I know I've taken up a lot of his time, and he does, every time I go in there, he's working, not sitting around piddling, and I appreciate everything you've done and done for me. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, District 2, I want to give everybody an update, and I see David Kemp. I know you're still in here. You, uh, BKI, the MLK project, they're working on the design now as we speak, so they should be having something pretty pretty soon. I say soon, let's say within the next three and a half months or so to get a full design ready to go, and I know ALDOT's been working through the process with them. Uh, I, I want to echo the same uh, remark that Councilman Hambright uh, mentioned. Uh, Charles hired me back in 2000, I guess. Uh, engineering why he done it I don't know uh, but he saw something in me and I really appreciate him doing that and uh, taught me a lot and taught me how to uh, I understood how government worked in those two or three years I did work and we had some really really good times uh, then and it was uh, it was a different city of course and it's really grown and under under his leadership and I'm just happy for him to call a friend he's in my district and I know when it's time to get up because he got a he had a crowing rooster anyway but and I told him it was against city limits, but I guess he got rid of the rooster. So, anyway, Charles, uh, hope you enjoy your retirement. Uh, we we are so proud of you, just uh, being being someone who everybody can call on, and everybody knows that that's Norport. So again, I want to thank Charles for his years of service. Uh, District three, Councilman Sullivan. Thank you. I got a couple things. One is an action item, but I too want to thank Charles. Um, you know, I said the budget is ready. We'll go through it tomorrow night, and he, he's done a fabulous job with it and uh, got to really work close with him um, on it this time, and I, I can just tell you he, he really loves the city. There's no question about that. and um, Couldn't be more proud to be able to have the opportunity to work with him and uh, just appreciate everything he's done. You know, he, he's really stepped up, you know, at times where he really didn't have to, and uh, I've certainly have appreciated his leadership. Uh, means a lot to me, and I appreciate everything you've done. So, thank you. Um, all right, I have a motion, and I'm going to read the motion first, and then explain it. All right. Yes, I sir. The pre-meeting. I went through it in the pre-meeting, but 
This is a motion to authorize the city administrator to enter an agreement uh, with McGifford and Associates for professional services to not exceed $25,000. What this is over the, the last several days, um, I've met with Alan McGifford with McGifford and Associates and we're looking at the western portion of our city. We've got um, a, a lot of growth, that potential growth in that area. So what we're trying to do is plan ahead and by bringing them in, sorry, I gotta watch my munchkin. Um, just to bring him in looking at potential growth for the area as we move west, uh, we know there's been a lot of um, a lot of activity in that area, so we certainly want to do our job uh, ahead of time and make sure as we go through when it comes to water and sewer, we're doing things efficiently. That's going to benefit us down the road. So that's what they're going to come in and do. There's also, I think, an easement issue they're going to try to get cleaned up for us. Um, but basically, this is just helping us uh, down the road as we, we all want to see this city grow. Um, that's what they're going to come in and help us with. So that kind of sums it up. All right. What I'll do, folks, is we have the motion on record by Councilman Sullivan, uh, as verbally stated. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Hambright. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, Mr. Rose. Councilman Sullivan. Yes. Councilman Hambright. Yes. Councilman Davis. Yes. President Logan. Yes. Councilman Hogg. Yes. Motion to approve. Thank you. Uh, District 4, Councilman Davis. Uh, yes, Mr. President, I just want to thank Mr. Swan for his over 30 years of service. Uh, Mr. Swan, you're a true selfless server, and I appreciate uh, everything you've done for this city. Uh, I really appreciate it. District 5, Councilman Hogg. Charles, there's not, uh, there's not many people that would wear something that itches this bad on their face <laughs> the whole council meeting if we didn't like you. So <laughs> we appreciate your service. <laughs> we appreciate your service and all that you've done uh, for the city of Northport and leaving your legacy with us. Thank you. The Honorable Mayor Donna Aaron. I want to thank the Finance Committee who has put hours upon hours, and I think I've seen Rodney age a couple of years here with all this. He and April and Charles and uh, Joseph and Ron, to some extent, have spent hours doing this budget, and I do appreciate it because they have not asked for a whole lot from any of us. We've got to be supported, and that's what we've done. Uh, I'm so glad Charles was able to stay and let us at least recognize and honor him for his time. I know he was not interested as much in doing this as they were, but they have been so supportive of us. We can say that the work that we have done for the city has been supported by the city council, that we were supportive of, and that. Thank you, Mayor. Item 15 is adjournment. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. We have a motion by Councilman Hogg. Is there a second? Second. Charles, you want to adjourn? Remember there's a reception. There's a reception after. We can't adjourn until you till you just say we can adjourn. Come here. Uh -uh. Come I, we need you to bang that gavel one more time. Here it is. Let's go. We will not adjourn the meeting until you get up and bang that gavel. We will hit it on behalf of Charles Swan. Come on, Charles. <laughs> okay. <laughs>